Hi, this is Norman from Guy Techie, and this is my video on how to install Windows XP, or reinstalling Windows XP, actually. So the first step is to basically get into your boot menu. Um, to do that, you'll have to refer to your manufacturer's um, manual or go online and Google for your particular make and model. But anyways, once you get here, you want to boot from the CD-ROM drive, obviously, because that's where your Windows CD is at. So we'll do that. As you can see, it asks for you to push any key to uh, boot off the CD. Uh, if you don't, it will automatically install or uh, start running Windows XP that's already on your hard drive. So from here, we can also start something called a recovery console by hitting R. Again, we're not going to do that. It's a little advanced, and it's... Uh, outside of the scope of this video. We're going to go ahead and hit enter to set up Windows XP now. This is the license. Um, basically you can read through all this, hitting page down to go through, but it's pretty boring. Uh, you really have no choice but hit F8 if you want to continue install, so that's what we're going to do. See, F8 is equal to I agree. Now, as you can see, this hard drive already has Windows already installed on it, just like you would have. Uh, you may have other partitions, like a D drive and whatnot. Um, you may not want to delete them if if you have data already stored uh, on these other partitions. But if you followed my write-up uh, at guytechie.com, uh, you would have probably already have backed up all of your data. So it should be safe for you to delete all the partitions that are currently on here. So hit D to delete the partition. So that's what I'm going to do. Hit D. It's going to basically um, give you a second chance. So hit Enter to delete this partition or to go back and escape. So we're going to hit Enter. And of course, again, it basically wants to make sure you're doing what you really want to do. So hit L to delete. Caution, all data on this partition will be lost. So yes. So you can see you have one 40 gig hard drive, well, 40 gig for me anyways, you'll have probably a larger hard drive of unpartitioned space. You can actually hit enter just start installing right now. Um, over here, it's basically asking you to format. Um, we're going to do a quick one um, because, you know, it's just quicker. Uh, if your hard drive, if, you're, if you are questioning whether your hard drive is, is still good, you probably want to do a uh, non-quick uh, format. This way it actually goes through the whole hard drive uh, and make sure the whole hard drive is actually good. For now, we're assuming that it's good. It's okay to do a quick format. And at this point, you can probably go ahead and take a break because it's going to take a while to copy all of these files from the CD to your hard drive. Okay, so it looks like it's done and it's going to reboot. There is a countdown to rebooting, so you, it's automatic. But So for example, if you're not here, it'll just automatically reboot. But if you're here, you can see that you can hit enter to automatically just restart before the timer hits zero. And as you can see, now we're in the graphical part of the install. Okay, so this is uh, where it starts to get a little more interactive. Uh, at this point, it's asking uh, basically for regional and language options. Let's see. So right now, actually, you can just click on Next if you live in the U.S. and everything is actually fine. So let's go ahead and click on Next. Here, you can type in your full name and the company or organization. You can type in anything you really want. Guy Techie. Guy Techie Industries. <laughs> Whatever you want, really. And then here's the product key where I'm going to uh, type it in. Uh, the computer name is basically um, anything you want to name your computer as. Normally, they'll give you a random set of numbers. I usually don't like that. 
I actually would advise you to change this from the default um, so that it's easier for you to find your computer on the network. Um, the computer name should actually be whatever you want to call this computer. I'll just go VM PC for now. If you're the only person on this machine, uh, I would still say put in a password. And the reason why is because Windows XP isn't as secure as Windows Vista or Windows 7. Your password. And then next. Now remember your password, okay? Don't forget it. Now, we're going to set the time and date and also the time zone. Uh, we're going to click on next because everything looks fine here. And it's just going to continue finishing ins uh, the install of Windows XP. Now, basically, it's asking for about your network settings. And usually, on a home network, uh, most home networks, typical settings is good enough. Customs allows you to do advanced networking stuff, but uh, we're not. it's going to be outside of the scope of this video. Um, again, uh, this is a work group name. If you're on a domain, this is what you go to, like if you're at work or at school that requires you to go to a domain. But for now, uh, if you're at home, you don't have one. In fact, most people just leave it as default, and that's fine. We're going to do that for right now. So it reboots one more time. Okay, so when you first uh, get back to this and it finishes up booting, you'll see that um, it's asking you to, or it's actually just basically telling you that it's uh, going to try to improve the appearance. So just click OK. There's nothing else you can do. If you can still read this, just hit OK. That's what we're going to do. So, before it actually goes back to its setting. This is basically the intro video to Windows XP. And as you can see, this is um, basically the friendly version of uh, the setup, friendly part of the setup. Uh, you just hit next. I do advise you to turn on automatic updates. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to check for internet connectivity. Uh, if it detects everything, it's great, but most of the time it does not. So we're going to skip all of this, actually. So we're going to hit skip. We're not going to register because that kind of involves you being on the internet anyways. So this is where you can enter um, your username. Um, okay. Uh, you can actually add additional users. If you're the only person, you can just leave it as is. We'll go ahead and, hit and click on Next. And then hit Finish. So this is the fresh install of Windows XP. Here is your fresh uh, desktop. If you followed my blog, this is probably a good time to actually start doing your Windows updates. Basically, you're going to have to download all updates, install them, reboot as necessary, and then try to look for more updates. Uh, again, basically, you're going to be wash, rinse, repeat until there's no more updates. And that concludes the installation of Windows XP. Please visit me at www.guidetechie.com where I have all those write-ups on how to reinstall Windows uh, for XP 7 as well as Vista.